Hey everybody, today I want to show you something I've uh, been trying concerning weathering. And I know a lot of guys, you know, still are like, I don't know if I want to ruin a car or whatnot. But let me show you something I found that it's really easy. And I recommend, you know, give it a shot on a cheap car and see how it turns out. So I picked up this uh, Tamaya Panoline Accent Color. And what I think this is meant for is like a... Tamaya makes a lot of military models, and there's like a lot of hatches and stuff, and this stuff is really thin. If you can see on the bottom, it settles. You got to shake it up really good when you use it. The pigment settles. But this stuff flows so easy. I think it's designed to make the little, go in the little crevices of a panel on a plastic model and make it really pop. So they, it comes in brown, dark brown, black, gray, and dark gray, and there may be other colors I'm not sure of. But I thought, you know, I bought the brown just to give it a shot. So, I picked up this lifelike, pretty cheap gondola. And I got this to go with my uh, Antrac crane and Derek car. And this was shiny plastic. I, you know, I started working on this and I wasn't filming anything, but then I decided to show you some stuff. This was that, you know, had that shiny plastic look. You can see the bottom has that, still has it. But the yellow, or the orange was like that too. So... Dull coat can be your best friend. This is uh, Tamiya TS-80 Flat Clear. I gave it a coating of that, and it almost looks like this is a painted model now. I mean, it really, you know, it looks so much better. And then what I did, I tried this stuff, and what I, I put, it has a little, fine little brush. I put little streaks on the rivets here, on the ribs, and then on the little details. And I did it on the other side. And this is how it sort of came out. And you can see it's... I wasn't looking for like heavy weathering. But just a little bit. And it came kind of... Let's see if I can show it. I don't know. If I get close. But it got kind of whitish. Because I don't know if I... You know, because I painted this with a dull coat. And about an hour later I tried this uh, panel line accent color. But, eh, you know, it looks a little dusty. Because it's going to be a ballast car and the load that came with it was black it was kind of shiny but i gave it a real quick spray of paint called uh chalk and i just went over it quick one big coat really close because i wanted some of the you know blackness to show through and i started taking that same stuff here putting drops just to give this some dirt effect. Because, you know, when you see bass on the railroad, it's all different colors and dirty and clean sometimes. Depends on, you know, when they've been through. So, let me show you what I did to get this kind of grubby look. I mean, you know, it's slightly dirty. Like, it's been around a little bit, but not like it's been beat up. See this end, I... No, the lighting's not the best, I apologize. But I did that side. It's a little grubby. Let me just show you what I did. So first of all, you want to take this and you want to really shake it up because it settles. Because it's very thin stuff. And this is, uh, I believe this is enamel base. Because it's not acrylic. So we'll just shake that up. I don't know if you see me shaking on camera to make it dizzy. So we'll just shake it up pretty good. And you can see, it's a very fine brush, just like they're glue, they're really thin glue. And all I did was, is just went down. This stuff runs pretty easily. And I might have to make another, you know, once I'm done putting whatever weathering effect I want. But you can see it, I don't know if you can tell, but it runs pretty Easily, I mean, it's hitting resistance because of the rivets here, but it does have a slight shine when it dries, so I may have to go over another coat of dull coat. And I was just doing this at first, just trying to get to run in there. Can I get a little closer? There we go. Trying to do this and look at the camera and oops got too much on there like i said this stuff is wicked thin so 
You can see it just runs. You can just drip it or brush it. But I was trying to get the rivets to pop and you can put in here. And this is what I just started doing, just putting in spots. And then under here, let's see what I'm doing on camera. And I started getting some that, you know, you see it kind of ran over. I'm like, ah, eh, shoot, I wanted to keep it into the detail. But then what I decided to do is I gave it dirtier coats. And you know what? You can make it thicker and dirtier in spots because, you know, weathering is fairly random on stuff. And you can put a little dash of it here on the step. So at first I just did it like that. So you can see it's picked up a little bit of the, the stuff's pretty thin. I'm almost thinking I should have got the dark brown. But then you know what I did? I went ahead and did this. I just went and started painting the whole side. Let me see if I get my hand out of the way. And I just covered the whole thing. I did let the, you know, rivet detail and stuff that's dry, but for the sake of the video, I'll just show you what I was doing. So this stuff is pretty thin. And I was pretty heavy handed with this. And I just coated the whole side. And you can see, nice and easy, quick. No big deal. Everybody can do this. And like I said, this isn't heavy weathering. This is just to give it a little grimy vibe. And as you can see, look at I'm almost doing the whole car. And it's taken very little time. The reason I'm doing this is just to give a little bit of a haze. You know, because if this has got bales dumped in it and they're just banging it around, it's going to get dirty and dusty real quick. So I just covered everything. Even the top edge. And you can even do this randomly. Up on top. Whoops. I went on camera. I apologize. You even do the top just splatter on because it's not going to be you know nice unless you want to be a nice heavy coat i guess and then what i did is i just let this uh put this over here i just let it dry and when i discovered was happening because the stuff's so thin as it dries it sort of runs down more towards the bottom slowly and then you get sort of that grimy look because it would be a lot, you know, usually it's a little dirtier towards the bottom of a car. So you just let that dry and you'll have a nice little, you know, not heavy weathering, but nice little film of grime on it. And like I said, this is a cheap car. This car, I think was $5 or less. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Bought it over at Dave's Trains and things. And now the load, because it was black, and I don't want, you know, when you see black stone in a gondola, unless it's, carrying coal for an excursion run. So what I did, let me shake this up a little again. Like I said before, I just put a little drops of this uh, paint on the load and just uh, let it run. Think. You know, you could put a lot more or just let it be random. We'll put a bigger drop right there. Boop. As you see, this stuff's so thin, it runs through little crevices and stuff. Put some here. See, it spreads nice and quick. You know. And, you know, when it comes to dirt and stuff, there really is no wrong way because things get dirty in a random pattern and stuff. Some right there, maybe some over here. A nice bunch right there. See, it just spreads out. And it does lighten up as it dries. And it does, you know, on this, it, it did go, it's dull when it dried. So that's nice. Let's see, let's put a nice little blop in the corner. Bloop. 
And as you can see, this a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. Let me put more over here. You know, just let the paint almost uh, do the work. As far as, you know, just runs where it wants to go around the little detail. And there you have kind of a random pattern, dirty ballast. And that'll look much better than black inside the car. Especially if it's on a maintenance awake. They're not going to be hauling black stone. At least not where I live. They don't have black stone. All right. And like I said, this is just a $5 car. If you screw it up, who cares? You can keep trying. Let me show you something I've had for a couple of years. This old HM car. And I experiment with this with uh, weathering. I finally put it back together. It was just a shell and... You know, I did different, uh, I tried different pens, powders, paints, stains, whatever on it. And event I decided to patch it and make it, make it into a car. It'll say MLT on the side. It's because I have big decals that'll go on here. It'll be, uh, my left tracks, beat up car. But, you know, like I said, it's just, I just had this in a box as, you know, piece of crap. I have to put new, uh, stirrup steps on it and stuff, but. You know, it was fun to experiment, putting dirt on the door and whatnot. The top, I got a dull coat. I sprayed it silver and it looks funky. But if you put dull coat on that silver, it'll make a nice oxidized look. So, anyways, if your uh, hobby shop carries, you know, Tamaya, give this a shot. I mean, you can see the results. It's, you know, pretty quick and easy. Nothing real difficult. Like I said, it gives a slight grime. And I, and I'm not, you know... Making this look like it's been out there for 20 years. All right. Hope you enjoyed seeing this. And uh, as always, see you down by the tracks.